Don't get me wrong, I love Palos Verdes Library, Peninsula Branch, especially. The other two branches, there's some issues there that keep me away most of the time. But Peninsula is the main branch, and I generally like like the facility, but I gotta admit, it does get sometimes boringly boringly uh, predictable. Same cast of characters, employees, and then the regulars here. I mean, in the regulars, especially the regular people, not the employees, but the regulars who come here all the time. There's one guy who sits at the same computer every single, I'm not saying most of the time, he's there every day. Every day of the year, I think, any day that's open. The minute it opens, he's there, and I think he stays all day. I don't know where he lives or what kind of life he, but he's always on the computer. <laughs> and you never get a glimpse of, you know, like any personality, you know, not even a friendly smile or anything, you know. That's what I miss. That's what I, you know, have the most misgivings about is like there's no familiar, even though you know these people, there's no familiar, there's no like, hey, how you doing? There's no community. Maybe they have community among the workers there. Maybe they have, like, after parties and gatherings. There's the one guy, kind of tall, bald. I think he might be from Kansas City because he wore a Kansas City Royals hat after they won the World Series a few years ago. But um, he participates in some of the movie, movie, special movie showing screenings in the afternoons and various days. And I think he does some kind of travel thing that I've never attended, but I saw it on the board. He seems kind of interesting, but he too, there's kind of a power and control thing that's going on. And I think every library has the same similar issues where they, the employees feel like they have to have, I don't know, a, a set apartness from the people who work there. I mean, the people, who, the patrons who, who go there, I guess they feel, I mean, he, this guy who I'm talking about, the bald guy, he's not that, he's not bald because he's old, I don't know if he's, maybe he shaved it or just bald genetically, I don't know, he, he's not that old, he's probably maybe 30s or 40s, but... I mean, I think all the people who work there, at least behind, um, maybe not behind the circulation desk, but the ones who do the, you know, like you ask them where to find a book or something, whatever you call that, those people, library and assistants. Um, I think they all have college degrees to work there. So, I mean, I have a college degree, actually two BA, BA, and a master's degree, so I would like to have some camaraderie, you know, with with others who have that same educational status, you know. We kind of should have some camaraderie because we've all been through accredited institutions. I mean, I went to a Christian college, private Christian liberal arts, conservative in nature, but I can get along with other people as long as we don't start talking politics. I mean, I don't, wouldn't really want to hang around with somebody who's pro-choice, but if, if we can keep that off the list of conversation, I could probably handle it. But, um, But there's just no camaraderie there. I get work done on the computer. That's a nice thing. I can get that work done quietly and without interruption usually. But for all the years I've been going there, I still get kind of a blank face feel from some people that like, oh, who is this guy? Like, and I'm I'm thinking the same of them. Who who are you? <laughs> 
there should be some kind of uh, way to have some camaraderie. How you doing? Like they would, like they might feel a little bad if I got hit by a car and died, and, and vice versa. You know, it's hard to get any feel for people. I mean, uh, you know, that they have lives. I mean, I'm a generally good, decent citizen, Christian, and I don't see a lot of people sitting there watching, you know, stuff that would we would normally say is immoral on the computers. If even if it's allowed, I don't know if it's allowed. I've never really tried it, but uh, so I mean, I don't think we have any really bad citizens in there, and so we think there'd be like a little more ways to have some camaraderie and just you know decent interactions with people and feel like they're my fellow citizens even if you know maybe you're a little more liberal and I'm, I'm not so liberal but at least we we can at least show some care about one another as fellow citizens decent citizens and so I would like to see some somehow that happen but I don't know if there's any way to make it happen I don't know I, I wouldn't want it to be a, something that forced but like something just where people can get gather together and socialize a little bit and without judgment and feel good about it. That's my thought of the day.